So why do we start on C? Why not start on A? After all, A is the first letter of the alphabet. And you certainly can. You can memorize where A is. But the reason for memorizing where C is, is that C is the starting point of the C major scale, which is important to know because that's what you can use to play all of your favorite songs. And it uses all of the white keys. So by knowing, by starting on C and memorizing the C major scale, you'll know all of the notes on a piano. So what I recommend doing is um, after this video for practice, I recommend sitting down at your piano if you have one at home and finding this uh, C note wherever C is. It can be, it doesn't have to be middle C. It could be any C on, on the piano. So for example, let's go here. So two black notes and then move to the left and there's your C. And then what I recommend doing is um, playing from the C to the next C. So this would be from here all the way to here. And what I recommend doing is um, saying the letter that your finger lands on out loud so that way it really helps to memorize where each note is. So let's do this. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And after practicing, practicing this um, time after time, this will help ingrain where each note is. So that way, um, after repeating this practice um, lots of times, you won't have to you'll you won't have to identify where the black notes are and to find where C is. After a while, you'll just be able to look at a piano and know this is C, this is F this is A, and so forth. So that's the importance of this practice. And if you don't have a piano at home, that's okay. You can try practicing on a virtual piano online, which are very easy to find, and there's several free ones to use. And that's it. So now you know how to identify all the white keys on a piano.